Leo, this is your reading for the 16th to the 22nd of March. <clears throat> I'm Shah, excuse me, from Charlie's Angel Tarot. And if you're a new viewer, welcome. Awesome to have you on board. And if you would like to become a Cyber Angel, then join us live. The English language live is Monday and Friday. And the Dutch is on Wednesday. As this is a bilingual uh, channel, um, I used to have the Dutch and the English together, but uh, uh, the family is growing rapidly and um, so I hope you will become one of the family as well. So please subscribe and hit the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded. If you don't want to be notified, then just click on the subscription button, it, I do appreciate it, because together we make it a beautiful channel. Hello my cyber angels, I love it that you're coming back and watch. Thank you very much for your faithful following. Um, I know there is a crisis around us, the coronavirus, so I'm sending out healing for everybody that needs healing. So please um, uh, set the intention uh, to receive the healing, the Reiki um, and the prayers and the help from the angels if you need healing or support okay you can also find more information in the corner here there's a little white circle and that will take you if you click on that that will take you to the website and there you can find more information and updates uh, i am getting busy like i said so that's why i don't go live anymore every day um, because I'm also collaborating with other readers and with a Dutch witch and it is an, uh, an interesting series there will be weekly vlogs and I've had definitely a load of positive reactions more than I anticipated so I hope you will follow the series as well and welcome Wendy uh, um, uh, to our group okay um, I'm using the crystal ball today and I'm using charms and I'm using the wild wood tarot and the uh, house of shadow oracle deck which is a Lenormand deck and it's quirky if you like the uh, Adams family then uh, you will like these decks sorry I'll bring them into the picture and there you go so I'm going to first start off with the giants. And I've got the white bead and that is the pure light of the divine and the angels. To protect yourself, set yourself in the white light and let's keep you there. You were next to the wheel so I that is also significant and we've got the key okay the wheel of fortune uh, traveling i'll get into those much more easy uh, you've got the owl you've got the lock and the feather the feather is also coming out big time and you've got the coin now know that the angels are with you you might see more feathers that signs from the angels saying we are here we protect you the owl the owl looks like this i'll hold it up a little bit closer and the owl he doesn't only see in front of him but he sits up in the tree and he can turn his head 180 uh, degrees round so he's keeping an eye on what's happening around him and he has a bird's bird eye bird's eye view of the situation and um, so don't keep focused uh, st stand above everything and get an other perspective like a helicopter perspective then we have the lock but we have also the key but it's very far away it's quite far away so we need to find the key to unlock the secrets or something that you don't know okay put yourself in the white light as protection that's the pure light it also is the light that uh, goes through us the div uh, divine light 
and cleans our chakras. That is if you are somebody that knows what chakras is and believes in the chakra therapy and the way of life and also the divine light, white is purity. So you can carry white around you if you've got a white bead or a pearl or a white quartz or white topaz, you can carry it as protection and luck. Then you've got the wheel of fortune and that's a steering wheel of a boat and I take it as steering your way, making a way, finding your way going on holiday perhaps or moving home uh, going on to the next level i will get into that as well that reminds me of the wheel of fortune and the key of the lenaman you've got the key in your own hand you can open doors to positivity and close doors to negativity perhaps you have to unlock something within yourself for example your light, uh, your chakras, your heart, uh, your your solar plex, that's your emotional chakra. Perhaps you are isolating yourself and have closed the door to the outside world. So come out and shine your beautiful light. I love this little coin. They're all charms. They're not real silver, but I use them. And that is the American president, Lincoln. And that is the other side of it. So I don't know. So there might be dollars, dimes, uh, quarters coming towards you. We'll see what the cards is going to say. But first of all, the beautiful crystal ball. This is in smoky quartz and it comes from the Himalayas. Uh, my sister gave it to me and I'm going to clean it, clean the energy of it from uh, Cancer Leo because this is your reading okay for the 16th to the 22nd okay you're ready to go you're ready to go that's what I'm hearing I'm seeing a straight line ah okay you're seeing a straight line and you're not moving it's like a road you're not moving or budging uh, from that line, that idea, that path. Perhaps you have locked yourself in and onto that specific path. You have closed off your mind. You have closed off your, well, more your mind than your heart. Okay. You have closed your mind, wisdom, mind, learning. You've closed your vision off. You perhaps you might not want to see reality. You're also closing your mind to different perspectives and uh, other things that are happening around you. You are staying on the straight and narrow. That is what I'm hearing. Well, you won't grow there. You won't grow if you stay on the straight and narrow. I know you won't get into trouble, but it's not a very, a very adventurous path. If you close yourself off, you're not open to learning new things and having different visions. I'm also seeing an angel, just the wings, just the wings of an angel in here. Okay, so the angels are trying to give you a wake up call. Open your heart, open your solar plex so we can heal your um, energy, your chakras. And the white uh, bead represents the white light, which is Archangel Metatron. It is also the angel for moving home, moving onwards. He also works with esoterical geometrical shapes. Well, we've got a shape here, a square, a circle. Wow. The bead is also a circle. That's strange enough. And the ball. Okay. So take heed. Open your mind because it is your crown chakra where the light goes through to clear all chakras. And he's also the chakra clearer, the angel of healing the chakras, bringing you back into balance. So let Archangel help you to move on. He's also the angel of travel.
you're in your own bubble because I'm seeing bubbles like coming a big bubble and then it boom it's it bursts so burst your bubble open that bubble with the key you've got you're holding the key so open the bubble I'm also seeing a dragonfly a dragonfly um, Dragonfly. What does a dragonfly mean? She's flying. The tail is on this end and the head is on that end. So look forward. Look around you. You might might be at marshland. You might go and walk in the woods or marshlands. You do like to go outside, most of you. And I also see a wishbone. A wishbone perhaps there is a, a wish that needs to be fulfilled but you don't know how you don't know how to take action okay I'm going to leave it there and now we're going on to the cards and like I said I'm using the wild wood tarot I love it when a reading comes together and up till now they come together. You can see the resonation or reson yeah, resonation with the crystal ball and the charms and the cards. Your first card is the seven of vessels. Uh, dreams and wishes and goals. Oh, this one is flipped. So that's what we saw in the crystal ball. Okay, the queen of vessels, the queen of vessels, care, nurturing. Okay, that is Archangel Metatron. The angels are showing you there is nurturing and care and love for you there. Okay, well, that's a bit too many. Okay, we'll take this one and you've got the six of uh, arrows that is moving forward, moving forward. That is transition, transition. Now, we've got a few cards here, so I will take the cards and take one, see whether this one will flip out. Oh, the three of arrows sadness or the, of loss okay underneath the deck we have the six of stones that's the six of pentacles okay i haven't had the three of arrows before the the arrows is the swords the three of swords and this is for you, Leo. I was going to say lion. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? Okay. The first anchor. The anchor. Okay. Well, this is the first time the anchor hasn't come out in the chance. Okay. We've got the hand. And I'm getting to hear, talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. Okay. Let's come out the key wow double message and this one has come out and is the dog friendship and underneath we've got the stalk right let's have a look what the cards are saying for you Leo let me know if you like the reading with the charms and the crystal ball I haven't heard, I've only had one or two reactions, but I haven't had too many reactions. Please give us the thumbs up. Let me know. Do you like the way the readings are going? I'm going to separate the reading and I'm going to put the cards from under the deck, below the deck, in the middle. And so you can see everything easier. Okay. Monday the 16th, you have the seven of vessels. Mourning. What are you mourning about? You don't only have to mourn about 
uh, somebody passing over but you could be mourning because you might have split up you might have lost a job you might have lost a pet you might have lost something else that is of value to you okay the seven of cups in this deck it is mourning but the seven of cups in other decks of tarot traditional tarot it means dreams and goals don't build castles in the sky make them realistic okay now since this card is morning we have the three of arrows and in this deck it is not loss it is jealousy so we've got morning here and we've got loss so this like i said the loss can be not of a loved one alone that's passed over to heaven or to the other realm but it could be a split up it could be that you're upset about a third part situation in a relationship okay it could be a loss of a car a loss of a job a loss of a home a loss of an investment it's and you are mourning that you are cheesed off you're sad perhaps depressed but that is right at the end of the week but it's already starting with this deck you are already mourning um, in the beginning of the week now mourning is sadness all right but twig the word morning monday morning monday morning 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 in the morning something could be happening you are dreaming and uh, think and wishing and goals so on monday morning there might be a new beginning about your wishes about your goals perhaps about your mourning perhaps about your loss in other words i hope to i am a life coach and i hope to specialize within the near couple of months with the loss okay uh, we've got anchor you feel safe where you are and there is a question yes a uh, question then the answer will be yes you are feeling at home where you are you've placed your anchor there you're coming home to a safe haven you've got number 35 which is the money and powerhouse okay so if you've lost your job will i have received um dull money or will i get redemption payment the answer is yes you you feel safe there am i going to stay am i going to stay here perhaps you found a new job and you feel safe and perhaps i i don't know but i'm getting the feeling of you know i said walking a line walking a line staying on the straight and narrow perhaps something might be about an issue that somebody said you did something and it's not true and you stayed on the correct path on the straight and narrow and the truth will come out so if your question is will the truth come out yes it will you will be staying there you will stay in your own respect in your own truth and you will not budge from that the angels are here also here and here okay now we've got the queen of vessels that's the queen of cups the Queen of Cups, she is a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, and they're very sensitive emotionally. Uh, they're spiritual, usually, psychic or intuitiveness. Everybody has intuition, but they are usually very sensitive to it. There could be a person, a lady, um, that will be helping you on your with your loss, okay? This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Okay. Then we have the hand. And the hand is uh, an other way of saying, mapping out, charting out. What is your destiny? Number 39. And the destiny means, uh, because usually there's only 36 cards. 36 cards in the Lenormand deck. But somebody is sitting there and holding on again to the pointing finger. This finger. Just look at that. Okay. 
So this, these two cards are giving me steadfastness. You are steady. You are grounded. You know what you're doing. Nine and three is eleven. Again, a number figure, a double number, the doorway to a new beginning. I think the truth is going to come out. What is your destiny? Although we can exercise free will during our lives, there are many things that are believed to be predetermined and beyond our control. When this card appears, look to the surrounding cards, cards to determine what happens to be your fate or opposed to what is in your control. Your fate is definitely a yes. You're in your power. The angels are with you. Okay. There is also a nurturing woman around you that will help you and heal from the loss. Okay. This author says this is morning. Uh, okay. This is a different author to this author. And they work well together. Now the stalk means you might be expecting or finding out you're expecting it means moving home it means a new beginning it means a new project a new beginning hearing of a birth this could be work this could be a project this could be partnership this could be a child if you are too mature to receive uh, get pregnant or have babies then you might become a gran or an aunt, something like that. Again, number eight, one and seven, power and money house. You see a little man with a briefcase here. This could be a doctor or this could be a lawyer. If you've been made redundant, then you might be getting help from a lawyer. Okay, you might seek a professional advice and because of that professional advice, there will be a new beginning and I don't know why but I already said you're holding on, you're on the straight and narrow, the truth is coming out. This is the overall energy my darlings, this is Monday, this is Wednesday and now you have the six of stones and the six of stones is the six of pentacles. Exploitation, haha, -ha, exploitation. That is not very positive. Somebody's been exploiting you. You couldn't say no. But now you're charting out your own path, okay? And you are building in safety, perhaps with a lawyer. And there will be a new beginning, perhaps in another firm or in the firm itself you've been as busy as a beehive you can see beehives here but the six of stones the six of cups is the uh, give and take um, card you might if you are less fortunate then you will be receiving money or a helping hand if you are fortunate you might be giving a helping hand look at this hand that could also mean a helping hand okay from somebody and you they've been chartering out a plan to get down to the bottom of the, uh, the issue at hand so clarity will come up this could be this nurturing lady wow N nobody has the right to exploit anyone on Friday you've got the six of arrows the six of arrows, the six of swords. You are moving away from rough waters. You're going to quieter waters. You might be moving home. Again, this is moving home. This is moving home. This could also be moving from one business to the next business. Or one firm to another firm. You're going to quieter waters. You might even travel over water. This could also be meaning um, going on holiday then we have 33 again an angel number an angel number and it's six you're back in balance you're opening the doors okay you're opening your chakras you're letting the you've put yourself in the protective light and metatron is helping you clearing out those negative energies from your chakras and blockages 
you've let Archangel Metatron in and you're closing the door on negativity and you're opening doors to more possibilities and positivity you're being more selective so there 33 the angel number okay and the 11 okay so you've got beautiful numbers here the angels are definitely with you they are healing your heart that is at the weekend the three of swords it could have been a friend that you've lost uh, because of moving away boom boom moving away you might lose a friend that's very dear to you that was loyal and trustworthy and you really want to hold on to this friend but sometimes you know you have to let go if it is a real friendship then they will come and visit you keep in contact with you through messenger and skype today far away is yet so close just remember the saying the world is small and yet so large again you've got 18 so that's a nine so that's an end of a situation you're moving to a better time and this friend if it's a real friend um, they are loyal because the dog means loyalty luck and trustworthiness you don't you haven't really lost them but if you've lost the job i tell you there's a better beginning for you you'll make new friends okay you have learned to trust a certain certain people friends okay this is i love this card because it's got a um, a, a mask of a dog but it's a centipede <laughs> or something a bug wearing a mask so be careful it's also a warning be careful of people that wear a mask but the basic meaning means you might get another perspective of somebody okay that you didn't realize they were a friend and now they were wearing a mask and you've got another perspective you know uh, oh gosh they've taken off their mouth mask because look he's already removing the mask he might be ugly underneath but within he's a dream and trustworthy or she and loyal and you don't want to lose them perhaps i think it's got to do with the move that you know because it's already moving forward you are moving forward you'll make new friends and loyal friends again but if they are a real friend and they've taken off their mask now okay you're both very sad sad and the third thing could be moving home or get, getting married or uh, having a job changing jobs in situation in order to maintain life and the new beginning because there might there will be an addition in the family i think that is what I, look more money the money coin is there and the wheel of fortune promotion uh because the next step might be a promotion this could also be a next step in a relationship moving in together moving home moving in together opening a key to a new future opening the door to your first home again the card of moving home perhaps there is a family extension and you've kept it a secret and now the door is opening okay Ooh, that could be it you've been wearing the mask perhaps no nah or you didn't want to tell your best friend because you didn't want to lose them but you've wised up now okay your perspective is bigger you're seeing things from a different point of view like the owl that sits in the tree it's got a, a helicopter view and his vision goes very far and very deep and the angels are with you okay beautiful reading so I think you will stay on straight and narrow and that will pay off as well you're honest you've kept a secret from perhaps somebody else that was wearing a mask okay the wheel of fortune is also holidays uh, if somebody's done you wrong uh, or good 
they will get it back threefold. The same with you. If you've done good or bad, you'll get it back uh, threefold. The wheel keeps on turning. One time it's down, next it's up, next it's down. And it's just the whole life is like a graphic chart up and down. So just take your time. Be nurturing. We've got the Queen of Cups here and she's, mother, she's regarded the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress are the nurturers in the tarot. So you might really become a beautiful nurturing mother and you just found out but you didn't tell anybody that you were pregnant but you've wised up, okay? And you've only told the people that need to know. Awesome. So there could be an extension. You found your place in life, definitely. Your dream could have been getting together, moving in together, getting married. I don't see the ring. I think you will be move, either moving in together, but definitely if there is an extension, do it for the right reasons and chart out your future. Number 11 and number 33 are angel numbers. The angels are there. So ask Angel Michael for protection and clarity. And he's also the throat uh, chakra angel. Ask him to be there that you can communicate in the right way with the right people. Ask for help. Don't be scared of help. Go to your mum and if uh, and ask her for opinion if you haven't got a mum go to the GP and choose a feminine GP and talk to her about your situation woman to woman and if you're a man then go to a masculine GP man to man but you are holding the key okay and Talk about your emotions that will help you heal as well. Don't be afraid to cry. Don't be afraid to talk about your emotions. That's very important, important Leo. Don't be the king all the time. You can't be tough all the time without being in, without being a, an empathist. Okay. Now I hope you enjoyed this reading. It's very extensive. It's the longest I think I've done, but it's definitely a load of messages. So you hold the key to make money, to make improvements, to get clarity. Justice will be done as well. And you are moving on to a new beginning. Okay. Love it. I really do. You hold the key. Wow. Thank you very much for uh, watching and please uh, share and like this video with family and friends. I do appreciate it and I hope to see you or get to know you in the live sessions on Monday and Friday and if not in the next video. Thank you. Be blessed. Ciao, ciao.